global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, group people. Welcome back to Global Happenings. Today, we're so excited to have you again. Bianca Juku has finally reacted to what happened yesterday between her and the wife of the former governor of Anambra State, talking about Ebele Chuku Obianu. Don't forget that there was an exchange of words. We saw a slap, though no, it wasn't video, you know, but then people talked about it and uh, it has triggered a lot of reactions. We've heard different versions of it from different people, but right now, Bianca herself is the one that is speaking up and telling Nigerians what actually happened. And you're going to be hearing this in a jiffy, but before we do that, if you've not subscribed to our channel, please do well. Hit on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our video. Well, according to the news, Bianca, the wife of late Domegu Ojuku, has explained why she slapped a Ebero Biano at the inauguration ceremony of Professor Charles Soludo. Bianca, in an interview with Arise TV on Friday, said Ebelo Biano was notably absent as the inauguration ceremony started, but arrived an hour later. According to her, she said, I did not pay any attention to her arrival. Surprisingly, she walked towards me, and I thought she was coming to greet me. Instead, she verbally attacked me with her voice raised, taunting me and asking me what I was there to do, using unprintable, vile language. According to her, Obiano's wife asked if she was at the inauguration to celebrate their last day in office. I left her, but she kept on aggressively, putting her hand on my shoulders and shouting. While I ignored her verbal onslaught as advised by people sitting around me, I requested twice that she refrains from touching me with her hands. She proceeded to do so yet again and tried to touch my head and remove my hair tie. It was at that point I stood up to defend myself and gave her a dirty slap to stop her from attacking me. As she made it towards me, I removed her wig. She then held on to her wig with her two hands and tried to take the wig away from me. Bianca also revealed that while people tried to separate them, she was surprised by the stench of whiskey hmm, in Ebele Chuku's bread at such an early hour of the day. According to her, she said, how could the first lady be so drunk at that time? I stayed back to watch the ceremony till the end and left with my dignity intact. Mm -hmm. This is quite interesting. I mean, really, really interesting. And, uh, you know, she has given us her own vision. People have said a lot of things about it, but I know she was the one who was, you know, interfacing with the woman. Um, but the last words is what nobody has spoken about, you know. You know, nobody has spoken about the issue of drunkenness. But here she's revealing it. So, which means what we saw there was a product of possibly uh tipsy status of, you know, Ebele, uh, Chuku, Obiano, or let's just say, you know, her drunk stage triggered the whole thing. Because I can't imagine in a reputable function like that, where the new governor is about to be inaugurated, you know, and you come in and act in that capacity, in that manner. It was unbelievable, you understand? And, um, you know, this is a pointer to the fact that um, there were already an existing beef, you know, there was a vendetta and all of that. And it doesn't spell good for you know, the family of Obiano, because who are we referring to here? The first lady and someone who may likely be aspiring for more bigger position, you know, and acting in that capacity was quite unwise. If you have any form of um, leftover things in your heart, you just go sit down to her, say, Madam, that's the way you come, come at this thing. Just talk lightly if you cannot hold back 
all you've got in your heart against her. But going to the extent of even touching her and speaking out in a public forum like that, uh, for me, was absolutely wrong. I don't know what will be done against her, but already if you check our feet, you're going to see what the Aqua Ancient Kingdom have plan to do if she uh, uh, disregard their demands, which is, you know, uh, to apologize, uh, she must apologize to Bianca Rimegwojuku, even as they also went forward to describing the personage of uh, Bianca Rimegwojuku. Uh, She's not just representing her person, but someone who had contributed tremendously to the development of the Southeast in different respects. And uh, with this, I, I would love to go further, but let me just look at what Nigerians have to say. And someone here says, I know that this woman was drunk for her to act the way she did. Another person here says, this is very shocking to see two grown women act this way. What will our young people emulate from an incident like this? Another person said, I, I knew very well that that woman was not herself. That's why she acted the way she did. Another person here says, that's why I keep warning young people to stay off drinking because it is tantamount to this level of disaster. So many people are talking here. I like to leave it there. Go to our comment session. Let's interact. Thank you very much and stay tuned.